Hey, it's Dr. Jared, and this video is all about IT band knee pain, or pain that you get right here on the outside part of your knee. We're gonna talk about what that is, why you get it, and then most importantly, I wanna share a complete routine of exercises that you can do right at home to not only eliminate this pain now, but to keep it from coming back in the future. Now, your IT band is a big, broad tendon that runs down the entire outside part of your leg and then crosses your knee joint over here on the lateral side, it looks just like this. It's crucial to note with your IT band that when your knee is straight, that tendon is in front of the joint line, but as it bends, it crosses over to the back of the joint line. And so if there is increased tension in your IT band or the muscles that are controlling it aren't strong and aren't firing the way that they should, what it can do is cause increased wear right here on that outside or increased friction. With enough repetitions, it starts to build up some irritation, inflammation, and that's what causes that knee pain on the outside part of your knee. Now the most important part of this video, the most important thing in helping your knee to feel better is to realize that the IT band itself, or this tendon over here, isn't actually the cause of your pain. It's a tendon. You cannot stretch it and you cannot strengthen it. It simply acts the way that the muscles that control it tell it to. So no matter how much massage or foam rolling or massage gun you use on the outside part of your knee, if you don't do something about the actual cause of your pain, tightness and weakness up here in your hip, you're never going to make meaningful progress with this. And so what we need to do is stretch the muscles that are tight. And so specifically, you've got your tensor fascia latte, you've got your glute medius, and then you've got your glute maximus. We need to work on those muscles. And then it's also this vastus lateralis muscle, this lateral quad muscle that sits right underneath the IT band. If we can stretch those and loosen those up, that decreases tension and decreases pull on the IT band, but then the other crucial part of this that's going to keep your pain away long term is when we strengthen those muscles, help them to fire and to function normally, to give them enough strength and endurance to carry you through your activities, that's how we keep pain away long term. And so those are the things that I want to share with you in this video, and I hope it helps you out. And of course, if it does, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, I love to hear your experiences. That being said, let's jump right in. Now the first thing that I always like to get started with is some kind of massage or release technique around the IT band or to the muscles that control the IT band. And so I've got my foam roller here, that's kind of the easiest way to do this, but keep in mind that I'm not going to just mindlessly foam roll over the outside of my leg. I'm going to release the muscles that control the IT band. I actually have an entire video on how to do this the right way. I'll link it in the description. I'll also link it at the end of this video. But for the purposes of this video, this is the quick version. And so what we're going to do, sit right on the IT band. If the left leg was affected, I'm going to cross the left leg over my right. And then that's how I'm going to get up into my glute max. As I roll towards you, that's gonna get into my glute med more and more. What I can also do is extend that leg out so the left leg's out straight, right leg's bent, and now I can use that to release down the entire back side of that tendon. And so it's that vastus lateralis muscle right there from the back. And then I can also follow that up with rolling over the top of it. And so now in this position, I can get right on that hip flexor or that tensor fascia latte muscle right here. I can also take that all the way down the length of my quad biasing the outside of my leg, but again, I'm not right on top of that IT band. And typically what I do in my clinic is I'll set a timer for about two minutes and just let the person kind of hit all of those areas with the foam roller. And then I like to follow that massage and that release up with some stretching. The two that I like while we're right down here on the floor, the first one I call an IT band stretch. I just told you, you can't stretch your IT band, but like don't tell anybody else. And so what you're going to do is lay on your side with your affected leg up. And so if it's my right leg that I'm going to be stretching as I lay on my left side. With your hand, you're going to grab right at the top of your foot, right at your ankle, and pull that knee back behind you until you get just a good, comfortable stretch all through the quad muscle right here. Now, in order to kick on or to stretch out the front of the hip and the side of the hip, what I'm going to do is with my left leg, I'm going to hook the top of my right knee and then use my left foot 
to push that down towards the floor. So my left foot is pushing my knee down towards the floor in this motion. Again, just till I get a good stretch through the front of the hip and through the side of the hip. What I would do is hold that for 20 seconds and repeat that one three times. Then next, I like to follow that up with more of a kind of back of the hip stretch. For this one, I've got this stretch out strap. Uh, you can use a belt or a towel or a sheet, um, just anything, a rope, dog leash, whatever you've got lying around home, something that doesn't stretch. And what we're gonna do with this, I'm gonna put that around my affected foot. I'm going to start with a hamstring stretch, so it's gonna come right up this way until I get a good comfortable stretch through my hamstring. But then I'm gonna grab both of the tails in my opposite hand. So I'm stretching my left foot, both the tails are in my right hand, and I'm gonna pull that foot up and away from you or up and away from the camera until I get a good stretch right here. You're gonna get that right up in the glute. You're gonna get that down the whole length of the backside of this hamstring. And we're gonna hold that in a comfortable stretch position for 20 seconds. And then we're going to repeat that three times. So those are the two stretches that I like down here on the floor. I've got two more for you up in standing. The first standing stretch is for the back of the hip and the back of the leg. What you're going to do is cross your unaffected leg over your affected leg. So if my left leg was the one with the IT band pain, I'm going to cross my right leg in front of it. Now with my hands, I'm going to reach down towards the inside of my left foot. So I'm coming down and across my body and lowering my torso as low as I can go. And what you should feel with this is a good stretch again, right up here in the glute and all down the back part of that leg. We're gonna hold that in a comfortable stretch position for 20 seconds and repeat it three times. And then the last stretch that I love is going to be a lateral hip and glute med stretch. And this is what that looks like. So again, my affected leg is my left. What I'm going to do is take my right leg as far as I can and cross it over, and then just try to push my hips over here to the left as far as they can go. I'm trying to basically make the entire left side of my body as long and stretched out as possible. Depending on how tight you are, depending on how much that IT band is bugging you, this might be a pretty good stretch right here. But if you want more, if you can take a little bit more, what I like to do is with this left hand, reach up and over your head, and then as the left hip pushes out, my left hand reaches over towards my right. Again, same principle applies. I'm just trying to make this entire left side of my body as long as I possibly can. I'm gonna get into a comfortable stretch position. I'm gonna hold that for about 20 seconds, and then I'm going to repeat that one three times. Now let's jump into some strengthening exercises. The stretches and mobilizations help it to feel better short term. It's these strengthening exercises that will keep the pain away long term. The first thing I want to do is some single leg bridges. You're going to lay on your back with your affected leg bent. So I've got my right knee bent if that was the one that had the knee pain in it. What I'm going to do is engage my glutes to lift my hips up towards the ceiling while keeping my left leg locked out and straight. Hold one, two seconds up at the top and then return right back down to the starting position. Contract the glute to raise the hips, keep your hips nice and level up here at the top and then slowly return back down. Great exercise for the glute max as we work into this hip extension motion, but then it's that counter rotation that we're also working that is a great way to strengthen the hip as well. And so we're going to do 10 to 15 repetitions on this one and then repeat that one three times. Now my favorite exercise for the gluteus medius, if it's still my right leg that's affected, I'm gonna lay down on my left side and do some side lying hip abduction. Laying on my left side with my left leg bent, my right leg is out in front of me or, or out beneath me, uh, below me, there we go. Keep my right leg totally straight. Now what I wanna do is raise my right heel not only up towards the ceiling, but up towards the ceiling and then slightly behind me as well. So it's kind of this diagonal path that the leg is going to take or that the foot is going to take. Um, keep your foot pointed forward. Don't let your foot roll up towards the ceiling. Don't let your hip roll backwards also. So we're going to lead with the heel up into the wall or to the ceiling kind of behind you and then slowly return back down to the starting position. Feel that right up here in this gluteus medius muscle. Uh, again, about 10 to 15 repetitions repeated three times is a great number to shoot for on this one. 
Our last two strengthening exercises are gonna be in a standing posture, makes it a little more functional, makes it a little more applicable. The first one is going to be called a hip hike. I'm going to stand on my affected leg, so right now I'm standing on my right leg. What I wanna do is let my left hip drop down and let my right hip push out. So it kind of, the starting position looks like this, that hip's down and the, the affected hip is out. Now what I wanna do is engage the muscles over here on this side of my hip to raise the opposite side as high as I can. So I'm trying to get this left hip up as high as I can and get a really good contraction over here on the right side or in this right gluteus medius. Hold that for one or two seconds and then slowly return right back down to that starting position. Left hip drop, right hip out, and then we're gonna pull that left hip up as high as we can, hold one, two, and then return right back down to the starting position. This is a great exercise for those glute med muscles, especially if you're a runner. This is one that I give to runners all the time. It's a really great exercise. About 10 to 15 reps, and then we're gonna repeat that one three times. Your last exercise is going to be some lateral band walks. Now, I have this resistance loop here at my house. I have a bunch of these in my clinic. You can get these for super cheap online. I've linked a set down below if you don't have any. But this is one of my favorite functional lateral hip strengthening exercises. I've got that band wrapped around my ankles. What I'm going to do is start basically at one side of my room. My feet are a little wider than hip width apart and I'm gonna drop down into a quarter squat position. From here, my leading leg, in this case it's my left, is gonna take a big step to the left and then my right leg is gonna come halfway in. So I'm never gonna bring my feet all the way together. Big step with the left, half step with the right, and I'm going to repeat that all the way as far as I can, about five or so, whatever you have available steps to the left, and then I'm gonna go five back here to the right. If you don't have that much room, you can just take one step to the left and then one step to the right, while again maintaining that space between your legs. But again, this is a great exercise, works the lateral hip muscles, works the hip extensors, and then our quads are also active as we're down in this quarter squat position. And so with that, typically what I recommend is about 10 steps to the left, 10 steps to the right, and then repeat that one three times. Now, if you want that video that I mentioned earlier about how to foam roll your IT band the right way, what you wanna do is click on this video right here. For some reason, YouTube thinks you might like this one. Click on that, see if YouTube's right. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe to my channel by clicking the circle button right here. Hope this helps. Hope to see you again soon, right back here on Tone and Titan.